Welcome to Can Angels Fly. I'm, I'm Nancy, and I'm here to talk about just why we celebrate the holidays. But before we begin, I got to put my fronts back in. Mm, yes. It's haunting. It's haunting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Again, welcome back to Can Angels Fly. I'm Nancy, and I'm here to talk about why we celebrate holidays. Recently, recently, in the history of humanity, we seem to be coming, becoming much more conscious. We are conscious about the meanings behind the holidays. Holidays like Christmas, big shopping, big, big commercialized holiday full of toys and food and shopping and excitement and lights, running your bills up, buying extra food, entertaining family that you might not even care for, that kind of thing. All in the name of celebrating Jesus Christ's birthday. Now we know. Why do we celebrate Hall uh, uh, Halloween? Today, which is Halloween, uh, dressing up as ghosts, goblins, witches, and warlocks, and other creepy things, knowing very well that they have to do with calling the, the dark side up. Mm, demonic spirits, maybe. Each holiday that we celebrate, at least here in the United States, there's a holiday for almost every month. We have between December and January, New Year's Eve, February, Valentine, just loosely, March, I think it is um, St. Patrick's Day. Then there's between April and May, we may have uh, Easter. We have the Memorial Days, um, July, July 4th. Um, is there anything? August, hmm, I may miss some. September, back to school. Uh, not doing too much then. Uh, we have the Labor Day. And then here, back to October, November, Thanksgiving, and December, Christmas. Why do we celebrate these holidays? Most of which com demands, at least commercially, demands us to spend unnecessary money on junk, on absolute junk. Why do we celebrate the holidays? Even though uh, the celebration of some holidays could run contrary to your spiritual or your, your religious beliefs. Why do we celebrate these holidays? Well, it's my belief that we celebrate the holidays because we're bored. Yes. You think about it. When life first began, we'll say Adam and Eve, came into this world. They had a whole lot of work to do. It wasn't a house around. It wasn't a factory around. It wasn't a car. It wasn't a McDonald's. It wasn't a Burger King. It wasn't an Arby's. It wasn't a cleaners. You name it. No casinos. You name it. No hospitals. There was nothing. It was just Adam, Eve, and raw life. They had a lot of work to do. But down through the years, as we've gone through our evolutionary um, and social uh, development advancement, especially the technological advancement, uh, now, I mean, not the technological, but that too, the industrial revolution, all these things modernized life. And don't get me wrong. <clears throat> Since the very early times of humanity, there has continued to be a lot of growth, a lot of development. Primary uh, steps to growth were to make sure you had clothing, knew which food you could eat, you know, um, how to defend yourself against nature, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. Did I say needing a roof over your head? Mm. Then you have to deal with the... Uh, the seasons. And, and so we had to learn how to survive those things from making fires to navigation, 
Um, and, and we learned to build up cities. We had a lot of work to do. But now, now, man, oh, now. Now that we've come so far as humans, we've built houses, condos, skyscrapers, towers. We fly in airplanes from one nation to the next. We have cars, all types of cars, everything from the little cheap car or the echo car to the lavish, um, luxurious cars that you can talk to and they respond. We have TV, TVs, 3D TVs. We have HD, 3D uh, TV screens as big as those in the movie theaters. Hmm. We don't even have to pop popcorn. You remember back in the day when the little popcorn was in the little pan and you put it over the fire and you stand there? Why somebody want to call me now? Yes, I'm making my video. Must be trick or treat. I got found out. I mean, not trick or treat. What's the one? Ooh, April Fool. I forgot April Fool. See, pocket dial me. When they knew I was making my video. Just a short, brief video. Anywho, remember the pan? You stand there and you pop the popcorn. And you had to be very careful so you wouldn't burn it. Keeping the fire real low. It took some time. I'm sure that was a technological advancement as well. But it still took about five minutes to pop that popcorn. Now, oh, all you have to do is go to your microwave, push two zero zero, and you got a beautiful, fresh bag of popcorn in two minutes. Oh, you can beat that time. Go to any one of your local stores and you can get a jumbo bag of butter popcorn ready to eat. So, what's the difference? At one time, we had to usually use our physical bodies to do some extremely hard labor in order to survive. Now, everything is advanced, automated, already prepared, pre-prepared. We don't have much work to do. We're bored. So what do we do in our life? We create events and circumstances and celebrations and the holidays in order to fulfill each year of our lives. Oh, I forgot to talk about one other holiday we celebrate every year, annually, our birthdays. Yes, that too is also a way to feel time, to bring beauty into your life and to entertain yourself. Um, I really don't believe that it's much, much more for the individual common person. Just a celebration. Some people on this very day of Halloween dress up, maybe them and their significant other, and they go out to a Halloween celebration, a masquerade ball, to dance, to sing, to drink, and to commune. It's the same thing around Christmas. You stay in a house, usually it's snowy, uh, depending on what location you live in. You put up a Christmas tree, you decorate the lights, you make it look really, really pretty. Just like those trees in the mall that are about 30 feet tall, all the glitz, all the glamour. Everybody's supposed to be peaceful. The music's playing, you know, uh, the angels and cherubins are singing and you're wrapping gifts you're running your line of credit up, but everybody's going to be happy Christmas morning. And some people slave. They slave over the stove day and night, baking and cooking all the festive foods, all for one day. And it's merely to keep ourselves entertained in a world in which we're not living as we should. We were meant to work. We still should be working. However, technological advances have made everything very, very easy. And it has also uh, limited the amount of uh, positions to work. We now have computers that take the place of people. A matter of fact, we have 
uh, computers or programs or uh, what do you call it, online media or interactions and chats and messages, texts and emojis to communicate with others. We have missed or have begun or are beginning to miss natural social interaction. We have to ask ourselves, where is the world going to be in a hundred years? If we continue to keep our faces down in the cell phones, chatting and texting and emojiing, but we won't talk to the person next to us. I find that kind of strange. I've been to celebrations with uh, family and friends and everybody's sitting around the table, music bumping. I know they can't hear anything. Uh, food uh, everywhere, drinks flowing and they texting and emojiing. And I'm just sitting there like, uh, what I'm supposed to do now? Okay. That kind of thing. Or, um, you know, 4th of July is another one where we may decorate and cook big and barbecue and go to the parks and the picnics and a park and a picnic. Look at where we are. We have to go to the park or to, um, to have a picnic in order to kind of be out in nature and to be able to breathe and have space and be free. Hmm. Why? Because we have industrialized our planet. Pollution, chemtrails, et cetera, et cetera. All in the name of advancement. What is this video really, really, really about? It's just to draw a line between where we've come from, um, cultivating our world, moving to learn how to battle against nature, counteract death, make it easy for ourselves. We're here. And jobs have been um, minimized. Uh, social interaction is now um, technical rather than intimate contact with another. What other things have happened due to technological advances? Hmm? Well, one thing for sure, it's opened up the gate for us to make as many holidays as we like in order to keep ourselves entertained, entertained until whenever. Thank you for coming to Can Angels Fly for this brief, brief video. Uh, Halloween is calling. Bye.